Valdosta uh, quadrant was just uh, Lowndes County, a little bit I think of uh, uh, maybe uh, the New York County is included in it, that, that fit map in detail. A lot of the other parts of this uh, South Georgia really don't have this kind of map, map that you division of the, the rocks in it. Some of this is pretty, uh, actually a little bit too detailed the way it's all divided up, but the top part is, um, is a coastal sand from a beach, what's called the Miccosukee Formation, and it has some little sh shells, different little fossils that are pretty close to modern shells in it. And then all of those units that are called the Hawthorne Group, they're, um, the, the Kusawati Formation is really clay rich, and um, the Junkie Gully has a little more uh, limestone in it, but they're all kind of um, Hawthorne. So he, he, and then the Suwannee limestone is still um, not, oh, not really included in the aquifer of the upper Florida. It's a, a legacy limestone, so uh, the, the limestone that's the upper Florida is the old Cala limestone. But some, it just depends, some people will include the Suwannee as part of the upper Florida, um, others will not. In the wet place where the uh, we, we visit the Whitlacoochee River, uh, you basically have loose sand in the walls of this big sinkhole here, and the floor of it is on this poplar group, which is uh, clay, which um, material. <coughs> and then that, that picture I showed you of the, the, the entrance to the cave is basically going into this uh, poplar group. The, the, uh, Big sinkhole has been referred to as Shadwick Pond because it often fills up with water, becomes a pond, then it'll drain out. Uh, and when I arrived here, um, I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute. We 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 saw it dry up, and um, and we decided to, to take a student out there to do a senior thesis to see if we could see through the floor of it uh, into possibly the cave underneath. We actually started out there with the with the ground penetrating radar going all kinds of places and then uh, this happened, it got really dry and we decided to try to uh, investigate this area with the, the radar. And um, the, the, the radar that we have, we actually now have two different antennas, but the radar that we use mostly for the geology is what, what's referred to as low frequency and um, the frequency range, basically a radio uh, frequency, um, is um, low enough that it begins to overlap with some, uh, not, not uh, commercial radio, but with some, uh, some radio transmissions that, that uh, occur in, uh, maybe in um, um, air traffic control or certain things. There's some concern about it overlapping, so they um, require that we shield this antenna so that the, the waves don't get out into the, uh, the general air. So we have an antenna that, that's a huge, big box that you have to tow across the ground. You can sometimes put it behind a uh, motorized vehicle, but um, it's really cumbersome. But mostly the reason it's cumbersome is because of the shielding that we have to do because of uh, United States government rules about the antennas. It will go down, um, in theory, about 100 feet for 30 meters. Uh, we haven't been able to see that deeper, but in theory it should penetrate that deep, especially if you've got really loose sand. I don't know, Becky has been doing a project with a dune, so it might, we, we haven't really, but we're, we're, we're still tinkering with how deep we can get it to work. Um, but we got information, good information, about uh, 10 to 15 meters of the project that I'm uh, summarizing here. And uh, this is the, the number one on this map is that um, that thing that's basically referred to as a pond or a lake on the topographic map um, until uh, I was here two or three years before I had ever seen it dry. So nobody really remembered it being dry. But, um, many local people that live around there, but it, it had been wet for for a long time, it's been a lake or a pond of some kind. And um, we did have several droughts that um, probably contributed to some extent to that bit of dry that time. 
uh, the department had actually uh, here in, in uh, geology made his own field map of this area with a lot of detail, uh, the features that are there. Um, basically, it's connect. All these things are connected, but the the, the river doesn't necessarily follow the same. Uh, it's got a meandering channel, but it often switches into other uh, parallel channels. So, or it flows in the wrong direction. <laughs> we found out of the sink. 